Hello students, welcome to Easy Limu Learning Simplified. My name is Mr. Stanley Umbogo. So uh, dear students, welcome back uh, to uh, another session. Uh, just still uh, on the uh, thematic concerns that we have in Parliament of Alls. And remember, Parliament of Alls is written by Adipo Sidang. So uh, dear students, uh, uh, in this uh, session, I'd like us to... Uh, look at that is uh, the issue that is raised in parliament halls that is the issue of suffering and exploitation uh, suffering and uh, exploitation so talking about uh, suffering and uh, exploitation dear students the play shows that in societies where leaders are insensitive uh, to those that they lead suffering will be the common denominator so uh, the basic cause of this is greed, which results in unjust system of governments and lack of consideration on the part of those who wield power. So uh, this is also fueled uh, by the neglect and ignorance of those that are led, as well as dysfunctional media, which, uh, as is often the case, corrupt and inept leadership will take full advantage of and seek to silence in order to maintain power. Meaning that uh, if we are having a leadership that is corrupt and inept, then they can easily control, uh, they can easily control uh, what is to be, what is to be said and what is to be done uh, at the plight of, uh, you know, members of the public or at the expense of uh, members of the public so uh, to start with uh, the misrule of the owls results in the suffering of the day birds. so they are segregated in an area that looks desolate as compared to the royal trees where the owls are so they are also made second class citizens and to maintain the illusion of their being special, the alls create mystery around themselves and wholly uh, take the leadership. So uh, I think uh, another thing that we can also talk about simply by looking at uh, that line, dear students, is a division of class in the society or what we call social stratification because the moment uh, those uh, uh, that is other birds are uh, segregated in an area that is uh, so desolate and the royal uh, 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 the royal all together with uh, the, the the loyalists are uh, uh, are at the royal trees then it means that there is no there is no equity uh, in that uh, in the society and uh, this is uh, brought by biasness and also uh, monarchy so there is a lot of mystery about the king he is really seen and where he lives as well as his nature add to uh, this mystery so this justice uh, these uh, are sorry uh, justifies the rules of the alls and the lack of democracy uh, which ensues so uh, in the parliament itself, they but aren't represented and both the government and the opposition is composed of owls. So remember we have uh, the loyalists, those are uh, the, the, the owls uh, that are loyal, then we have the rebel owls. So even what is called opposition is laughable because it can never effectively represent uh, the David, remember the work of the opposition is to uh, ensure is to uh, ensure that the government, those who are uh, in government, uh, does the right thing. They are supposed to keep them uh, in check, and they are also supposed to represent uh, those uh, that is uh, the voiceless. So these uh, cannot be uh, effectively uh, done in uh, this parliament because uh, the members of the opposition who are the 
the birds are not even in the parliament. So uh, most members of the opposition um, are in it for their own selfish interest and change sides depending on who is best buttering their bread. Now, when it uh, that is now when it comes to uh, those who are in those who are in parliament. So you will find that still in the parliament, uh, these bills are not being passed by sane uh, sane minds. Uh, they only look for uh, people who grease their hands. That is when they decide uh, the si uh, the, on which side they they belong. So the day parts are not allowed to elect their own representatives. And as a result, the laws passed in the parliament only favor the alls. So the moonlight law, for example, curtails their freedom while increasing the hours of freedom for the owls. So Moneybugs uses the parliament to pass laws which enrich him at the expense of the daybirds. So uh, this is seen when he controls population by taking statistics of the eggs laid and takes over the tender for security. So uh, he invites animals from outside the bird kingdom to harass the day birds in order to create a semblance of insecurity and thereby take advantage of the same. So as a result, of uh, their being uh, denied a voice in parliament, the birds are exploited in many ways, causing them uh, further, further suffering. So the owls uh, arrange the uh, weaver massacre. Remember in Act 1, uh, we meet uh, the sad uh, Osogo Wenyo who plays a, mel a melancholic uh, you know, tune because of the friends and families uh, he lost. So uh, we uh, are told that the owls arrange the weaver massacre in an attempt to control the birds, especially Osogo. So there is no representative to air this in the parliament and uh, people are just suffering without uh, you know, being represented. So the moonlight law has a direct effect. Uh, on the daybirds, yet there is no daybird in the parliament to air their grievances. So it means that uh, they do not, uh, the members of the opposition do not have any representative in the parliament that can, you know, uh, give uh, ideas or give suggestions that can also uh, benefit them. So instead, they have to rely on the owls who are in the opposition, who cannot possibly understand the issues of the day birds and in uh, in this case we talk about uh, the rebel hose that is the iron lady the feathered uh, big uh, owl and uh, the straight eyed who later on uh, betrays uh, the, the, the the others so uh, the day birds also uh, that is uh, they also suffer uh, other things so remember that uh, the, uh, both the Moonlight Law and the Security Bill are seen to directly exploit exploit them. So uh, the most glaring is the murder and arbitrary arrests which are arranged by the owls. So apart from the birds killed during the weaver, uh, that is the weaver massacre, we also witness the killing of a room Tidi who uh, used to be uh, a close ally to a uh, red string. So the owls openly arrange for Arum Tidi's murder, then come to cry crocodile tears at his grave and uh, even pretend to honor him. So we also witness the arrest of Teltel and the harassment of Oyundi, who at one time is forced to take flight to the animal kingdom because uh, the bad kingdom has proven to be <laughs> uh, has proven to be uh, can I talk about uh, insecure so while Arum Tidi uh, dies because he learns the secrets of the owls Teltel uh, suffers uh, because 
apart from uh, learning those secrets and putting red string and money works in uh, jeopardy she refuses to be used by the all so remember she had been used for the first time and that was a wake-up call uh, for for her so oyundi suffers because she dares the owls and opposes the rule of royal owl especially because it denies a voice to the daybirds so uh, the daybirds are also denied their rights with the gagging of opposition to the all government so this is the only voice which in any way tries to air a dissenting voice which does not necessarily include the grievances of the daybirds so the rebel alls which attempt to seek a fair society are silenced in many ways and uh, money bugs buys any of them uh, ready to be bought so we learned that a bill uh, was recently passed to please the rebel alls so they can agree to be used the government is also ready to use money to buy anyone who stands in its way so this is clearly seen with the socialite all being promised money for makeup in order to get her out of the way of passing the moonlight bill so when it comes to the bills <coughs> sorry when it comes to the bills in uh, parliament the rebel owls are harassed and thrown out of parliament to ensure the bills are passed that is without uh, any struggle so this ensures that the daybirds totally lack a voice they remain voiceless as they have been so also we learn that the owls use animals against the daybirds so money bugs uses mongoose to steal the eggs of the daybirds and snake is used as the execution so uh, the owls also use birds of prey against the daybirds so the bird uh, for example is used to intimidate the daybirds and so are vultures and crows remember they all belong in the bird kingdom so we learn too that uh, the veteran uh, that is uh, the veteran p veteran parrot is harassed and even imprisoned for telling the truth so the playwright shows the necessity of fighting for justice and fairness in such societies no matter what it takes so uh, it also shows that uh, such justice and fairness is unlikely uh, to come easy so again we learn that people must be ready uh, to both fight and sacrifice for justice to be realized and justice uh, to the day but for example by looking at a parliament uh, that is a parliament of all comes at the expense of many weaver birds being killed and uh, a room to this life also goes into this bargain and so does the suffering of osogo oyundi and teltel so dear students in the end however the suffering is worth the while for the day birds are able to over uh, uh, that is they are able to uh, oust and overthrow the harsh rule of the alls so uh dear students that uh marks the end of this session thanks you for watching and thanks you for keeping it easy limo uh stay tuned for more episodes to come bye